manufacturing is probably the single most important industry to any city. And the reason that that is, is not only do you have high wage knowledge jobs that exist in manufacturing, but they also have the strongest economic multiplier. And what I mean by that, for every manufacturing job that's created in the city of Phoenix, you'll see somewhere between two to six additional jobs created to support that manufacturing job. In the summer of 2018, in Metro Phoenix, there were 130,000 manufacturing jobs, and it continues to rise. From components to bolts and fasteners, microchips for Xboxes and Playstations, bioscience products, one of the world's most recognized golf clubs, ping, and the list goes on. That's up 6,600 from last year and nearly 16,000 from the year 2012. You look and kind of go back to the 40s and the 50s and the 60s and we are a strong aerospace and defense manufacturing uh, state, a manufacturing region. And that kind of goes back to the days when our congressional delegation got together and said now that you couldn't have uh, aerospace manufacturing or defense manufacturing located too close to the coast because something like Pearl Harbor could happen again, they fought diligently to get defense into Arizona and it has thrived here ever since. Here in Phoenix, we've really seen, um, out of the last 21 months, we've seen increases in manufacturing 20 of those last 21 months, where nationally you've really seen a decline until just recently. Not only that, but you've seen the number of manufacturing jobs skyrocket. We're uh, over 130,000 manufacturing jobs here in Phoenix today when we were 109,000 in 2010. So you're seeing those manufacturing jobs grow. So we have significant exports in things that we're manufacturing here in Phoenix. Our three largest trading partners are Mexico, Canada, and South Korea. Um, our Mexico trade, our exports with Mexico, are up over 20% just since 2013. So as we export, as we're manufacturing products, you know, it's food products and mining products and, and others that go into Mexico and technology products that go into Canada and um, electronics and technology products that go into South Korea. Exporting is in high demand for Valley Forge and Bolt Manufacturing Company right here in Phoenix. In fact, Phoenix and Arizona are only one of nine states and metros with a trade surplus. The largest trade surplus is with South Korea, followed by Mexico. Valley Forge CEO Michelle Clark says they had their share of defense contractors. Valley Forge is a faster manufacturing company and uh, we started in 74 making just regular fasteners for the mining industry in Arizona, Nevada, uh, Utah. And since that time, my father, who started the company, he's developed many patents helping people uh, be more efficient in what they do with fasteners. And so that's why we are still around. We started off as just a standard bolt manufacturing company and over the years have expanded into a world-class bolt manufacturing company. We offer products that you can't find anywhere else and we find solutions for people to save them time, save them money and make it a safer world in the bolting environment. Um, and that has what that has made us the success we are. Her father is an immigrant from India and knew about forging. He started the company because he saw a need in the Southwest. The company started out with only five employees. Today, it has close to 100. We ship fasteners all over the world. We send fasteners to China, Africa, South America, Canada, Mexico, all over the world. And uh, we use them in industrial applications, mining applications, uh, offshore cranes. Um, anywhere where you need an industrial fastener, we have been. We've got bolts that are subsea. Manufacturing goods and services are unique. It takes a special worker for this type of skilled craft. Today in Phoenix, jobs requiring skill, experience, and technical expertise are growing. It's the non-technical assembly work that happens elsewhere. Forging is a special industry that takes a skill that is not taught anywhere. There are 
many jobs that you can have, that you don't have to have a college degree, you don't have to go to school, and you can make things and be proud of what you're doing. I think presently there's half a million jobs that are unfulfilled in manufacturing because there's, there's, the skills aren't there, the workforce isn't there. So for America to compete in worldwide manufacturing, we need to develop these skills and train these young people and make them interested in this rather than sitting on a computer somewhere or, you know, calling people on the phone. You need to get out there and actually make something. Our workforce is made up of many different um, skill sets. We have quite a few mechanical engineers, we have two electrical engineers, we have the forging department. They are the hot heading, they're taking a hot bolt, hitting it with a lot of power in a machine, forging apart. Um, and then we also, as a specialty, we do load indicating fasteners. So we calibrate a mechanical device in each fastener to show the load. In addition, they have other administrative jobs like order entry, sales, shipping, and receiving. Workforce is the most important reason manufacturers like Phoenix. There are more jobs than experienced workers. Arizona at Work Phoenix puts together custom training programs for companies looking to fill jobs. Last year alone, Phoenix helped more than 1,000 companies recruit, hire, train and retain new workforce. It's just one reason companies turn to Phoenix for workforce solutions. Even though Valley Forge has been around for a while, Michelle's father saw a need for this type of workplace solution. Fasteners. How did Valley Forge get its name? So Valley Forge is about a forging shop in the Valley of the Sun. And my dad is quite uh, patriotic, so he thought Valley Forge. I'd also like to mention my mother and her involvement in Valley Forge. Um, she was sales manager for a long period of time, helped us become profitable, and uh, she, she retired in 2008, and they're both still, my dad still comes in once or twice a week. He's still thinking up new inventions that he can, you know, patent and we can make for customers. It's always been about solving the customer's problems and making it an easier world for them. The world has changed and will continue to do so. It's incredible to see what was manufactured yesterday and what is being done today. You've got uh, you know, microchips on the semiconductor side, you have biosciences products, you have food products. Things are being manufactured here that most people have no idea they're using each and every day in their life that are manufactured right, he right here in Metro Phoenix. And you have one of the world's most sought out golf clubs made right here in Phoenix. My grandfather, Karsten Solheim, started the company in 1959 because he wanted to make a better golf club. And the rest is history. Ping is preparing to celebrate their diamond anniversary because one man wanted to play better golf. It had bothered him to no end that he couldn't get the ball to go where he wanted it to go. And he finally realized it was the equipment and he could make it better. So he made a better putter and some friends of his encouraged him that, hey, you know, other people in the world could use this too. And he started making it for other people. So when my grandfather first made the putter with the perimeter waiting on the outside, it was a little bit hollow, and so when he struck the ball with the putter, it made a ping sound, and that's how we got our name. Karsten started making golf clubs in his Redwood City, California garage in 1959. But in 1961, the family moved to Arizona and have been here ever since. Ping has 807 team members who we love and who have been incredible workers. And we also have an additional 27 employees at the parent company, Karst Manufacturing, and another 65 at its precision casting foundry uh, across town. We train from the, the inside up. And in fact, last year when we had incredible demand for our G400 drivers and irons, it was an all hands on deck experience and literally anyone who had ever had production experience went and helped on the manufacturing floor, including our president. So we encourage everyone to know how to make clubs and 
uh, our former president who retired after 40 years had started out in production as well and with, with menial jobs that, that he grew and he became, uh, rose through the ranks and became president. So we, we very much believe in growing from the inside. Once Ping employees are hired, they stay. In fact, some as long as 40 years. So why are they staying? I hope they're staying because we are making it an enjoyable atmosphere for them. You know, we are so fortunate to have that kind of loyalty where people will stay. We have some employees who've literally tattooed Ping on their bodies. I mean, we have the most incredible team. And literally 30% of our employees have worked here 20 years or more. So people come and they stay. And I hope it's because they know that we love them and we have their backs and I believe they have ours too. We have customers all over the world. Our customers are passionate about golf. They love playing the game and they really like winning and we have the tools to help them do that. We do export to over 100 countries, and I'll tell you the most exciting thing is being able to travel different places and see ping on someone's hat or umbrella or backpack or golf clubs. You know, to be able to see our name all over the world is really a humbling and, and great privilege. So why is Phoenix so attractive for manufacturing businesses? There are many reasons why manufacturers are attracted to Phoenix, and it goes back decades. And that is that our legislation worked diligently to get those prime manufacturers here in the 40s and the 50s. And those prime manufacturers really drove the workforce. They drove the education. They drove the technologies that created a place where a city responded diligently to those manufacturers that were here that brought tens of thousands of great jobs and very high wage jobs into this market. And that spin-off has been pretty exponential. And exponential it has been for the growth and job market in Phoenix. This once sleepy Southwest town was once coined as the Wild West. Today, it's booming in growth, development, and jobs. Looking to relocate or maybe start a manufacturing business here? Phoenix is hot and the connectivity is here to help grow existing companies and help new ones flourish. This Valley workforce is the reason more companies want to have their products made in Phoenix. The city is here to respond. We have adequate water, we have great power, we have great infrastructure, but most importantly, we have an incredible manufacturing workforce here in Arizona. Phoenix is hot.